Hello folks! New week! New You Don't Know Jack, and no, I'm still not having anyone else join me. Episode 50 isn't the special landmark! Come on, the game doesn't even end on a round even number there. It ends on episode 73, so why would 50 be special? 53, on the other hand. There's something special about it. But I digress! Onward! 30 seconds to places. Johnny here at your back and calm. Please fill me in on the number of players, won't you? Yes. One player? This should be a Febreze. Enter your name for me, if you please. No. Really? You have no name? How on Portugal? Let's see. Let's call you Playa. Because you are such a Playa, Playa. Perfect. No, Allow no, me no, to give no, you the instructionalizations. No. You'll see a whole slaw of questions, and when you obfuscate the correct answer, press the button next to it. There is a clock counting down your time, so if you buzz in fourth with the more You know, obfuscating win, the correct answer is exactly what he does when he writes these questions. Close. Ten seconds. Off you glow. Okay, let's have a gut check. <laughs> Off I Five, glow? Go to black? What am I living Three. next to a nuke well, plant now? People's fingers. Oh. I am Cookie, host of You Don't Know Jack, the funny trivia game show. Don't have much time to get this information out before the music hits its peak. I just need to tell you quickly that... Ah, crap. Fail. Mmm, I see you're all alone. Try not to be frightened. And our wrong answer I will the fail, game but is okay. sponsored by Ultimate Control Remote Controlled Universal Remote Control. If you buy every bullshit tech device that hits the market, you should buy this one too. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end that up with a sense. great prize and serious cash. <laughs> okay, let's get this show on the road. First down the docket, all that vajazzling. Time for a good old-fashioned SAT-style analogy question. Caesar oh, Milan Lord. is to dogs as Jennifer Love Hewitt is to what? Cats, horses, boyfriends, or ghosts? Jennifer Love Hewitt. Horse whisperer, maybe? Nay. Get it? No. Like a horse. Nay. The sound a horse makes. Nay. <laughs> it was begging <laughs> to be picked. Caesar Milan is the dog whisperer, and Jennifer Love Hewitt plays the ghost whisperer. I actually use a lot of Milan's dog whispering tricks on the interns hmm. here. Yeah, if they do something I don't like, I just poke them in the side. Or I put on rollerblades and make them pull me down the street by a leash. But notes. Ooh, that still looks painful. Fuck her up for the Da Vinci Doodle Codes. You know, Leonardo da Vinci didn't just paint, he made sketches of things that wouldn't be invented until many years after his death, which I believe makes him some sort of evil wizard. Anyway, suppose the characters in Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code only investigated Leonardo da Vinci's famous sketches of inventions. What would not be a potential clue? Jesus was married to his machine gun, Mary Magdalene flew away on an airplane, the Pope rides a motorcycle, or Leonardo was in a secret cult called the Parachutes. I think the only I'm pretty sure I remember two of those. God. Watch your time. Da Vinci sketched drawings yeah. for seeing the machine gun, airplane, and parachute, but no evidence has surfaced to indicate Da Vinci foresaw the advent of a motorcycle. Which is strange because Da Vinci is considered by most to be the inventor of the sidecar. Really? You're going there. Coming up next. <laughs> When words try to find themselves. What are noun, verb, adjective, and adverb? Nouns, verbs, adjectives, or adverbs? Nouns. They're all nouns. Yeah. I guess it seems kind of weird that a verb is a noun, but hey, my name is Cookie, and uh, I'm not a cookie. What, never heard of a gerund? And on its way... The Audubon Guide to Vampires. And bloody hell, it's a diss or dat. I'm going to list seven names, and it's up Birds to you to classify vampires. each one as either an official U.S. state bird or a character from the TV show Buffy I never the watched Vampire Buffy. Slayer. If it's Damn a it. state bird, 
Press one on your keyboard. If it's a character and from Buffy, we'll see scissor tail press fly the catcher number two. Snare the right answer and you'll nab 300 bucks. But a blind stab's gonna cost you 300. And always keep your binoculars on the timer. Okay, we're off. Willow Goldfinch. Willow Termigan. Willow Rosenberg. One of those, Mark okay. Bunting. Yeah. Cordelia Chase. Riley Finn. Nene. There was a character named Nene, no. really? Your heart's not in it, is it? <laughs> Holy cow. You ever get pooped on by a vampire? It's hard to get out, but it's supposed to be really lucky. Where's the bomb girl? Rock my world girl. Ooh, yeah. Try this on for size. I'm so happy, and you know, I'm not reading this question title, it's stupid. I can already feel myself starting to get annoyed with everything during the show. I should probably go ahead and take the medicine my doctor prescribed for my so-called out-of-control anger issues. <laughs> Let's see here, how often am I allowed to take these? Oh, come on. You know, I can't understand anything it says on this friggin' bottle because it's using all kinds of crazy medical lingo that no one ever explained to me! That pharmacist is a gigantic f***ing <laughs> liquor! <clears throat> what medical shorthand should I write on this bottle if I want to tell my pharmacist <laughs> to stick it where the sun don't shine? PR, bid, ad lib, or T and A? Uh, PR, I believe. PR is medical shorthand for per rectum. I think that gives you a clear enough visual image. Yep. You know what? Screw it. Can't read the instructions. I'm just going to take some of these. Can't get it. Won't. Open! How do I get this? Damn it! Damn it! It's stuck! <laughs> ah! Ah! <sighs> so tired now. Yeah, we've all been there. That'll bring an end to our first round. And you're doing pretty well. Probably because there's no competition. Probably. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And keep in mind, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Okay, how about it? Here's a good one. Novelty buys for the hearing impaired. You ever go to a ball game and wave one of those big foam fingers around? While I'm trying yeah. to watch the game, yeah. given the letter those number one foam fingers resemble in American Sign Language, which Major League Baseball team would you expect someone with a number one finger to be rooting for? Oakland A's, Detroit Tigers, Toronto Blue Jays, or Houston Astros? What is one finger up in the air? D or J? I think it's a D. In ASL, a D is formed by touching your fingertips to your thumb and extending the index finger upwards. And after a game, it's customary to greet fans of the other team with a similar hand formation, just with a different finger. And turned around. Open wide for... My teeth are falling out and everyone has dog faces. Oh god. Oh man, last night Nocturnal I watched a movie admission? and ate three boxes of toaster pastries, and as happens, I fell asleep and had the craziest dream. I I'm bad at these, but I like them. So in this dream, I was invited to a mysterious gathering during a thunderstorm at this mansion with all these strangers, except one of the strangers was my cat Poopsie, and one was my cat Mayonnaise. And my mom was there, but she was murdered. And we had to figure out which one of us was this the is murderer. Clue. The weirdest part of the dream is that there were four different endings. What could possibly be the movie I was watching last night? Click, Clerks, Clue, or Closer? It's... Wait. Remotes. Movie about a remote. Here's what a right answer looks Aha! like. Aha! Oh, yeah. Ha-ha! <laughs> that was the movie I watched last night. I know it was just a dream, but I should probably call my mom and make sure she's all right. That's weird. No, that's the movie where Adam Sandler gets the crazy super-powered remote control. 
sort of like what you're about to get because you've just won a remote controlled universal remote control from Ultimate Control Remote Controlled Universal Remote Control. They gave wheels. Tired of I like using that. your remote control in person? Well, you're in luck because now you can use your remote controlled universal remote control. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. Pork and chicken's picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. And now, in the face! Imagine a Hellraiser movie where Pinhead gets his normal pins replaced with acupuncture needles in an effort to calm his temper. What would be a good name for the movie? Cruel Head, Milliner Head, Tatting Head, or Filiform Head? Huh. I actually don't know what the name of those needles are. Milliner sounds good to me, though. Milliner Head? Your family quilt must be filled with patches of disappointment. <laughs> Want to see the answer? Filiform needles are used in acupuncture to relieve pain and stress. And as someone who knows the level of stress one goes through when harvesting human souls, believe you me, he needs the therapy. I can believe it. Say hello to Turn Me Online. So, after the Nile, the Amazon is the second longest river, and the Yangtze is the third longest river. Which leads me to this. If you wanted to order a book from Amazon while near the Yangtze, which web address would you use? Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.cn, Amazon.fr, or Amazon.co.jp? Hmm. You know, I'm going to go with the Time's second one, even though it's probably the fourth. The Yangtze River is in China, okay. and See domains in China. China end in CN. Like this real address for Amazon in China. Of course, if you just wanted to order a book from Borders while near a border, you'd have a lot more options. Hold me, never let me go. Borders still around? Take a good look at Credit or Dread It. Suppose the number of free credit report commercials you've seen is the same as the highest possible FICO credit score. If the ads are a half minute long, how many minutes have you spent on them? 400 minutes of your life, 425 minutes of your life, 450 minutes of your life, or 499.5 minutes of your life? What is the highest score? 900? 800 or 900? I'll go with 900. Nope, the highest possible credit score is not 900. But you know what is 900? The wrong answer of the game, brought to you by... Psych! Nah, you didn't find the wrong answer of the game. Better luck next round. I already answer. found it earlier. Smart people choose this. The highest possible FICO huh? credit score is 850. And at 30 seconds or a half minute each, that means you've spent half of 850 or 425 minutes of your life on those commercials. Which is only a fraction of the time I spend watching QVC, which is also why my credit score is 14. Fork. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the number one. $4,000 for a right answer, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's got to be a match that fits this clue. I was born. I was born with a plastic spoon in my mouth. Good luck. Okay. Born. Immaculate conception. Virgin birth. In a manger. Okay. Springsteen. Eh, where is in the USA? Hey, come on. If I know all these, I'll be shocked. John Henry. Born as a steel driving man or something like that, right? With a hammer. Born oh, what is that freaking... No. No. Yes. Steppenwolf was born to be wild. Sam Cook. Yankee Doo. I can't 
can't remember that line in the song. Oh well. There it is! Woo! 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 Oh, did you think this was for you? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I should have explained. This is the only thing that keeps the giant rats that live in the walls from coming onto the stage. Ah! Woo! Get back! Get back! <laughs> Woo! You owe me a shoe! You don't know Jack! That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? So, are you thinking you'd like to enrage in more Tom Flummery? Nah. See, I would go looking up the answer to that last bit of the You Don't Know Jack for you, but I'm sure somebody will know it and put it in the comments below. Probably the macaroni one, just because that's part of the song. So anyway, this has been another episode of Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. See you again next week for episode 51. And as always, I leave you with the commercials. It's sacred, refreshing, and loaded with vitamin G. Bowling. Why ruin such a primal sport by gingerly putting your fingers through the ball like a dainty little schoolgirl? Introducing Fistable Bowling Equipment. For the dude who takes on the world knuckles first, we customize all of our balls, bags, and shoes so they fit your fist perfectly, and you can get right down to the business of punching out a game. Wow, nice frame, mister. Out of my way. Fistable Bowling Equipment Incorporated. When life gives you a 7-10 split, punch it hard. Do my bangs look better swept this way? Or that way? Um... Probably that way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Doing Conversations. Each year, tens of dozens of puppeteers suffer serious hand injuries because they didn't use the proper lubrication before stuffing their hands into a puppet. These injuries can range from minor chafing and small blisters all the way to the loss of a limb and death. Luckily, there is a solution. Felt Up Hand Puppet Lube was specifically designed by scientists to provide the lubrication that feels good, but also keeps puppeteers safe. I feel good. Uh, my puppet feels good. And because of Felt Up, well, we're both healthy. If you or someone you love uses hand puppets, don't they deserve to get Felt Up? If I didn't get my son Felt Up when he was younger, he might not be here today. Felt Up Hand Puppet Lube for your loved ones. Hey buddy. Hey Jordan. Happy birthday. I know I usually forget to buy you anything, but this year I got you something from the cloud registry. The cloud registry? What's that? I got a cloud named after you. Oh. And it comes with a certificate of authentication that I printed out on my dot matrix printer. So which cloud is mine? What's that? Which cloud is named after me? Oh. Uh, that one. The one that sort of looks like a race car? Sure. Steve, did you just make this up because you forgot to get me something for my birthday? No! It's totally a real thing. Listen to this announcer. The cloud registry. Totally a real thing. You just did that by cupping your mouth in your hands. Well, happy birthday, buddy. Gotta go. Bye! Hey, get your friend a gift from the cloud registry. It's really a real thing. When is a pickle not a pickle? Find out tonight. Monica, I have cherished every day I've spent with you. You are the love of my life. Will you marry me? Oh, Charles, of course. And what a unique ring. Is that a... Gallstone? Yes, it's mine. I wanted to give you something symbolic of my love for you, so I had the hardened excess bile that my gallbladder produced forged into your ring. How romantic. It's perfect. And you're perfect. I would have had a lot of gall to say no. On the contrary, love. On the contrary. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, that gallstone was one of the most painful things I've ever experienced. The You've Got Gall Gallstone Jewelers. When giving her a piece of your heart, 
isn't enough. 